Hello and welcome to episode three of Very Usable Base Licks. I'm Soul MCA. I'm glad that you are joining us today. If you enjoy this lesson, I do ask that you like, uh, share it too, subscribe to this channel if you like videos such as this, or if you like tutorials. And speaking of tutorials, if you haven't checked out my last tutorial, I'm going to pin it up here. Please take a look and uh, give it a try. It is a real banger and it will challenge you in ways you didn't know that you needed to be challenged. All right, today's lick, we're in F sharp. All right, and the groove is not as important as the lick, which was. Uh, okay, so what we have is in that groove, I'm going from a one ba, ba, uh, ba, to a four, ba, 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 back to the one. So the lick is actually taking place between the one going to the four right here to the four right there okay and what we have is five f sharp let me give you the notes if you know the numbering system we've got our first note second note third note fourth note fifth note sixth note seventh note and eighth note that way our uh, people that go by notes will have something um, to reference, okay? So we've got five, four, three, one, five, three, four, five, four, three, one, five, four, three, four, sorry. Now, uh, I know I've played it two different ways already, and there's a reason for that, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Uh, now that we understand where it's happening, we can talk a little bit about application here, all right? So obviously this lick could be used going to the four because the very last um, note that we hit is the four, okay? Let me give it to you in another setting first and then talk about different um, applications of this lick. So the example I've been using is how great is our God? It's our God. Because I know everybody sings this at this church. Sing with me, how great is our God? So we're about to go to the four, right? We can use it here. Oh, see how great, how great is our God? I'm going to give it to you one more time without talking this time. Great. Mm-hmm. So you see how it works. So in that case, even though I wasn't going from a one to a four, I was going from a six to a four, it still worked because the lick is is a a guide, a navigation towards the four. So it doesn't matter where we're coming from. It only matters where we're going to. Oh, that could preach. Y'all might have to send me a little a preacher offering on this. I, I'm ready to key me up. <laughs> doesn't matter where we're coming from, but it only matters where we're going all right so this lick is good because in addition to taking us to the four there's other ways you can play it now you can play it according to your setting let me throw this click track back on and, and try to play with it a few different ways i'm gonna simplify the group just do the one <laughs> All right, that's the one we got. Go back to the one. All 
right, so you see that time I added three, one, four. So depending on what the rhythm is doing, you can change what you're doing. And the last thing is, and I'm gonna just try this one out right now. I haven't really practiced this. So it might be a train wreck, but you can, you can keep this lick going. So even though the lick is, right? The real lick is actually just here. Five, four, three, one, five. That is really where the lick is taking place. We know we're going to the four. So that three, four, that three is really more of a pass just to get to the four and give us that extra note. But the real lick is right there. So if we extended that, because that five is where we started, just at a lower octave, we should hypothetically be able to continue the lick. Right. See, so now I just took the lick and extended it. Five, four, three. Um, one, five, four, three. Started it over. One, five, three, four. See, now you're able to cover more ground. Or you could even just start to lick. You could start it on the lower strings if you need to. Uh, and of course, you don't have to just do this lick in F sharp. You could do this lick in whatever key that you want to. But it just shows you the mileage you can start to get out of something. Or you could even do. So that's how I did five, four, three, one, five, four, three, four. And then we did the five, four, three, one, five, four, three, one, four. And there, there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, once you get past, I should have just taught that as the lick right there with that five. The, the whatever you do to get to the one, to, to the four, I'm sorry, afterwards is your business. Uh, See, like I'm just, I just keep adding things more and more and more. And that's what you should do with licks. Don't just take a lick, learn it the way that the person teaches it to you. Try to say, okay, how can I stretch this? How can I add more mileage to it? Um, if I make it a triplet, if I uh, slow it down, if I play it in reverse, whatever the case is, you always want to do that. And that might open me up to another, um, another series I want to do on teaching how to make your own bass licks. Uh, if you guys want that, let me know. Cause I'm not gonna teach. If you don't want it, I'm not gonna teach it. I won't take my time uh, and teach it to you. But if you want to start to understand how you can make your own licks, just hit me in the comments and say, "Teach us how to teach us how to make our own licks," or whatever the case is. Uh, but you always want to be pushing to learn more and more and more, stretching a lick you have, making it more and more and more and more until you have a vocabulary that you like. Uh, and you see, the speed of these things is really what's deceptive. This lick is not really an advanced lick it's probably still a beginner lick but the speed makes it more advanced uh the speed and the, the clarity with which you've got to uh play it is more intermediate to i wouldn't even say advanced more intermediate uh, and so once you get speed under a lot of these licks what is actually simple starts to sound like it's a lot more difficult or if you extend it like in the case uh, like you're doing a lot more than you're doing and you just repeated the lick, but because it's going through different octaves, it sounds completely different. I've said enough. I am so MCA. I do hope that you enjoyed today's lesson and we'll see you next time and check out some of my other videos. Have a good one. God bless.